today's question is about moments of force. A uniform meter rule is balanced on the 30 centimeters mark by a 50 grams mass placed on the 0 centimeters mark. Calculate the weight of the meter rule. So before we continue, we need to note that this question is based on the principle of moments, which states that at equilibrium, the sum of clockwise moments about a point is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments about the same point. So we have a uniform meter rule. It is balanced at 30 centimeters mark by 50 grams mass placed on the zero centimeters mark. So if we have zero centimeters here, then we have a 50 grams mass placed. Now 50 grams in kilograms we divide by a thousand. And then we multiply that by 10 to convert it into force. So that should give us, also, sorry, this is 50, not 5. So these and these cancels, therefore 50 over 100 is 0 0.5. So that means we have a force of 0 0.5 newtons here. And the meter rule is balanced at 30 centimeters mark from this end. So up to this point we have 30 centimeters so here we have 30 centimeters mark and from the fact that it is a uniform meter rule usually we know that the meter rules are uniform and therefore their weights will always act at the center so the center of a meter rule is the 50 centimeters mark remember meter rule is 100 centimeters in total length so at this point, we have its weight acting. So we will apply the principle of moments by first of all knowing these distances. So the distance between the pivot up to the point of application of the weight is 50 minus 30, and that is 20. And between the pivot and the line of action of 0 0.5 newtons, this distance here is 30. So applying the principle of moments, you know that sum of clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments. That is about the same point and the point there is a pivot. So the force that will cause clockwise moment here is the weight W. So we multiply W by the perpendicular distance up to the pivot, which is 20. You don't need to convert that into meters can even use it just as it is. And then for anti-clockwise moments, we have 0 0.5 newtons times the perpendicular distance, which is 30. So we have 0 0.5 times 30. And from this dividing both sides by 20, the weight becomes 0 0.5 times 30 all over 20. Now, when we work out this, we realize that the weight of the meter rule is 0 0.75 newtons. And with that, we come to the end of this question. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.